the Wahi Babarake at the Hoop. Sea Rebels welcomes you to the life of the last messenger. But before we go on, make sure to subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to not miss any of our new uploads. Short explanation. The Makkans believed that the desert environment would affect the health of the babies. They also wanted their babies to speak the purest form of Arabic. Hence, they would give their babies to the nurses and they would feed the babies for a short time period. Halima Sadia, Abdul Muttalib was searching for a nurse who would take care of baby Muhammad. Some women came from the Banu Saad. Abdul Muttalib asked each one of them, but none accepted since the baby's father wasn't alive. They thought they would be paid much. When Halima Sadia arrived at the spot, unfortunately, she didn't have any infantries to take care. That's when she spotted Abdul Muttalib with baby Muhammad in his hands. So she took baby Muhammad with her and didn't have to leave the spot empty-handed. Quiz time! What is the meaning of Muhammad? Tell us in the comments. Family background. Halima's husband was Harit bin Abdul Uzza. She had three children of her own. They were Abdullah, Anisa, and Judama. Hence, the Prophet also had foster brothers and sisters belonging from Halima Saadia. Fun fact! Halima Saadia and her husband, Harith bin Abdul Uzza, belong to the same tribe, Banu Saad. Halima Saadia's house is unexpected. Blessed. First donkey. Their family was unexpectedly blessed. For example, Halima's donkey was very slow when going to the spot, but while returning, it was extremely fast that the donkey raced down the other ladies. Happy babies. In the nights, the babies used to cry of hunger, but now she could feed her babies, and because of that, the babies slept with a full tummy. The camel blessing. When Harit went to check on their she-camel, he was astonished to see that the she-camel was giving so much milk. Even the area where the woman lived, Dair Banu Saad, was the most drought-filled area in the region. But in the area where Halima lived was not affected by the drought. Halima Saadia asked to keep baby Muhammad for longer. Every six months, Halima would take baby Muhammad to Makkah to be with his mother and other family members. When Halima Saadia took baby Muhammad to Amina and pleaded saying that it, the baby will be more stronger and healthier in Dair Banu Saad. Amina happily agreed and Halima Saadia happily took baby Muhammad with the thought of her blessings. Jazakallahu Hayrah.